Hi everybody, I'm Floyd because that's my name. That's my name. And on this episode, I'm going to go to the viewer mailbag and answer some questions. Then, I'm also going to do some magic. You know, I think it's time for a change. I really need to change because this just is not right. It's summertime, so I think it's time. That's better. Check it out. Okay. Let's do this. Went to my mailbag. Yeah, well, what do we call it? Mailbag? Do we call it uh, mailbox? Email? Well, anyhow, I, I listen to you guys, and I actually I have some questions wrote down here that you guys have asked. Either emailed me, or you have commented below. So, here we go. I'm going to get to those questions right now. So let's roll the email music. Maybe we don't have any email music. We should have... We should have email music. I guess we don't have any. I'll have to fix that. of emails from you guys and some of you have commented below the different things you guys wanted me to do is do magic with a cat a straw chaw don't know what that is don't even know but you guys give me a lot of good ideas a lot of the emails ask me serious questions about myself and about what I do so I thought what I would do is take a moment here answer a few of those questions the one question I got asked the most and not only an email but also personally is how old were you when you first started doing magic? I first started doing magic when I was nine years old. I saw a magician and it was right then and there that I knew I wanted to do magic. So I told my sister and my sister decided that year for Christmas that she would buy me a magic kit. Did my very first stage show when I was 13. So you can say I got my start in magic when I was nine. Got my professional start when I was 13. It's a long time ago. The other question I get asked a lot is, who's your favorite magician? Oh my gosh, there's so many. But I would have to, have to say that my favorite magician happens to be David Copperfield. Yes, David Copperfield. And a lot of people ask me, uh, well, who else is your favorite magician? Like, do you, do you ever watch other magicians? I watch a lot of magicians. So I would say David Copperfield is the magician that I want to watch the most. Why? Because David Copperfield's cool. He owns an island. Did you know that? He makes things float. David Copperfield is awesome. But there's a lot of other awesome magicians as well. Dan Harlan, how cool is he? This guy, Dan, he does everything. He knows everything. He's like a walking encyclopedia of magic. Then there's magicians like Murray Salchuk. He's a Vegas headliner. Awesome magician. Has his thing going for him. He was on America's Got Talent. There's Terry Evanwitz from Tennessee. Totally off the hook. Terry Evan Woods, every time I'm in Tennessee, I make sure I check out his show. Street performer Chris Randall in Vegas, buddy, you rock. If I'm there and Chris is out on the streets doing his thing, I'm stopping. I'm throwing a few bucks in the tip jar. Chris Randall is off the hook. But, you know, the magic community is filled with magicians, and I think they're all great. So if you're doing magic and you're doing your thing, you're probably one of my favorites. Well, uh, unless you're doing, like, you know, in my backyard or my carnival next door. May not like you then. Another question I get asked a lot is, Floyd, what is your favorite card trick? And there is so many card tricks out there. Probably when I first started out, I did a lot of card tricks. Nowadays, not as many. Nowadays, I do more parlor magic and stand-up magic, and I kind of gravitate towards the classics. Card magic has been a part of magic for a very long time, and I enjoy doing card magic, but it's not my mainstay. It's not what I do a lot of. So I would say my very favorite card trick to do is the ambitious card. Mm, look it up. I get asked a lot, can you teach me how to? Can you teach me? Will you teach me how you? Can you teach me how they? Would you show me what I look like, the masked magician? No, I'm not going to show you, but I'll tell you why. I will teach you. Just go to the library, get yourself all the magic books, read every single one, 
and then come on back. Teach you all about magic, but I won't have to because you already know everything because you read it in the book. Okay, it's magic time. This is where I do two magic tricks that you guys have most requested for me to do. So, check it out. So, some of you requested that I do some magic with technology. So I went to Staples and I got myself these indestructible USB drives. They're, they're really cool. Um, they're USB drives and I got two of them. I got one that's black and one that's red. I'm going to put all my work files on the red one. The black one will have all my entertainment, my music, that sort of thing. And what's really cool about these drives is that uh, let's say I was to go somewhere and I thought I had my work files but I didn't. I actually had my music. It's just a matter of giving it a little rub like that, a little snap, and it turns red. So I have red here and I have the black one right here. So that's what's really cool about them. Um, the drives are the drives are indestructible. Like I said, they're indestructible. And no matter what I do, I just think of it and uh, we go from black to red. Just like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the entertainment. I'll put that in my pocket, and I have here my red drive. Um, again, it's just a matter of saying, okay, come from my pocket to my hand, give it a little shake, and there we go. I now have my entertainment. But I may not always want that. I may want to have my work files. So just give it a little snap, and my work files come right back. And my entertainment files are safe and sound in my pocket. What's really cool about the entertainment files is as my entertainment grows, so does the flash drive. So that's a really cool feature there too. So there you go. I got my uh, black and my red flash drives ready to go. So one of the other requests I got was, hey Floyd, can you do magic with matches? Well actually, <laughs> they're uh, they're fire sticks and yeah I can do magic with fire sticks absolutely here's how I get uh, my fire sticks to multiply you see the fire stick in there if I just give it a little shake like this all of a sudden I have more fire sticks and that is more magic with fire sticks that's it for this show hope you guys enjoyed it and hey Send me a comment, email me right here. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Till next time, take care, peace out. Till next time.